hello everybody welcome to this new episode in today's video I want to demonstrate um, how to configure or set up the menus on the web to pi framework the idea is to uh, create a list of menus that will be displayed dynamically as we can see on the login right so let's get started first thing that we need to do is um, head on to the web to pi installation if you are not familiar with the framework i posted a video prior to this in which i explained how to download and install web to pi so let's get started i'm working right now with an application uh, called welcome so i go on to welcome edit and the first thing as i said is uh the first thing we need to do is to create a database to hold the menus the categories so that we do in this edit uh, db pi file if you open it up and you scroll all the way down you will see at some point there is an example of the database definition you can just copy that and paste it somewhere underneath or you can work on it so i will call my table for the menus um it's called menu table i will call it like that and it will hold initially we are going to make it for only one category just to make the video short so that categories will let's give it a name like n groups n group right n group will hold uh, to make it a scalable so that we later on we can add more menus onto the top i will set it up that it to require a that is inset okay and the set will be called um set cuts let's call it set cuts so i create here set cut and that will be an array containing initially just one so we can and let's call it um i don't know reviews just to to give it a name if i want to add more i just have to expand it from here right for now just leave it like that um the reviews apart from the name of the category i would like to also have another field here for let's say for the title right that's the title that will be displayed and probably another one for the page that it will be show or yeah the end place where will be uh, diverted to so oops something is not okay uh, it doesn't like the entitled part what is that let's look at the model uh, field field entitled there's a comma here mm, maybe I have too many too many no 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 um oh wait a minute um, m group requires the set actually i forgot to close this one here yep <coughs> so that's all for the um, database definition so now we can oof where did i do that now we can go on and populate the database with our um, content. So that we do here on database administration, click on it. We have our menu table and we click on uh, new. So as we only have reviews, we can only choose one. And the title of my review, um, let's call it something simple. I don't want to think too much. 
review number one page one for the reviews up review number two page two okay that's enough so now we have created the database we populated it next thing is to bind it onto the menu so we click on menu as we saw and in menu i have deleted most of the things here just to make it simple and this is where we have to focus on on the mm, response menu so right now we only have the home and as you can see here there's an empty array so if we were to copy this model from here we were to copy this model model and just paste it inside here and I, let's me, let me call you sub1 um, let's go back to uh, the application so we see um, whatever we put into that array will be displayed underneath the title right so what we need to do is extend and extend and automate this model and the way to do that is by just first of all we need to connect to the database and let's say reviews list is going to be db execute sql and we make a selection from our menu table so then we say um, select everything from menu table where um, sorry where M forgot the name sorry about my memory M group actually uh, it was already there where M group we are going to select the M group right uh, where M group equals um reviews right just make sure that we do the exact same title that we are choosing here so we don't lose time troubleshooting later so we make a selection of all the links that fall under the category under the group reviews that's number one next we're going to create a function that will actually create these tuples and add them into an array so what we do is def and generate menus right and this will return the array eventually as for now we create an array to hold all the tuples so let's call menu array it's gonna be empty for starters and when we call this we're going to pass an item list or the review list actually this review list will be passed here but let's just don't duplicate the name let's call it item list make it simple and we can also pass a controller to form because what we see here default is the name of the controller so we will pass a controller as well let's call it controllator just to make it unique so now we're gonna um, loop through the item list oops what was that we will look through the app from item list okay and we're gonna define a tuple my tuple let's call it my tuple and my tuple will have this exact structure right I copy this onto here and I enclose this um, tuple right like this so what I'm going to do here is um, 
I'm going to define the title, right? The title for that link will be, in this case, my title is 012. Two. two is my title. So I say 2x2, two two, that will be my title. And the controller will be the exact same controller that is given here controllator and the page is going to be m page right he will say this is going to be m page sorry i didn't count zero one two three that will be three the page x3 is going to be the page so once this top book is um, generated uh, we are going to add it into uh, or append it into the array with this um, method append my topo so and finally it will return the array okay so the only thing that we need to do here is um, call the I will just modify this one I will call okay this is my reviews instead of keeping the whole the home I will call it my, my um, reviews and um, right here instead of I will delete this array and I will call the generate menus and I will pass the reviews list and on top of that I will pass also the controller I will call my controller reviews you can call the controller whatever you like so now we have an error here it says that failed to compile boop, boop, boop. what's going on mm -hmm. for x in items that's much better um, yeah that's pretty much it so let's see how it all plays out so if I click here on uh, enter now we see review number one review number two so if we want to add more uh, content to this we can just simply go to the database add the content if we want to expand our menu list because we incremented the categories we can just simply copy this one put it here let's say this is going to be articles and it's going to be operated by another controller let's call it articles and we will just have to uh, replicate the same operation here right naming it as search articles and we will also have to do that in the model right actually we should have to start by the database model definition if we want to uh, expand it we will have to just go first onto the database definition um, expand our categories so that at the moment we insert we have uh, the option to choose which category we want to and like that we could then make this uh, dynamic yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to um to to, to show thanks for watching cheers